to talk real quick about the ballistic ratio in the SCAD expert software. Um, it, it's open over here in this corner. When you open the SCAD software, you've got this page on your initial startup. You know, it's going to be blank. It's not going to have all these tents in it. Come over here, click on this. It's going to give you this little display right here. It's going to give you a couple graphs. We're going to talk about those in later videos. Right now, I'm just going to look at this right here. You see, as I slide the bar right here, zero all the way up to 100, see these numbers on the left hand change. And now, all of this is giving me different information. And you see as, as arrows flip and shot values change. What this is doing is building in lock time and a little bit of path of flight. It's basically delaying. You can see right in the middle, as I play with this, the, the pink dot moves back and forth. Now this represents the breach. This is where your shot's going through the target. And let's say I'm real proud of this shot. Now this is ballistic ratio of 100. This is um, it's like shooting a Nerf gun at the 200 yard target. It's real slow getting down there. Now I broke that shot right in the center. And you see right there on our left, it's a 10.9 centered up. Beautiful shot. Now as I drag this out, I think for most service rifle shooters, it's somewhere between, let's say, 25 and about 40. And you see right here, you know, if you look at the service rifle target, you see the X-Ring's about three inches across or so, maybe a little less. And it's moving it from right about here where I took the shot to right about here. And this is your trigger lock time the combustion in the chamber and the flight path down to the target. This is about what I think is accurate for service rifle shooting. You can come over here and click on a couple different ones and so like, okay, this nine right here, I was all proud of myself, shot, thought I shot 10 tens in a row. And if I put this back down to zero, uh, I'm at a 10.1 and I build it out and I can go all the way up to 9.4. But I don't think too many people are gonna see, I think somewhere between 25 and 35 is, is going to be your best bet. So I'm going to talk about these graphs in later videos. Some more what these numbers represent as well. That's all. Thanks.